In this lesson, we will look at what makes up a template and take a peek under the hood of WordPress. In previous lessons, you've gone over almost all the pages of the admin menu. Now that you are familiar with the various options, it's time to venture into the yet to be discovered world of code. In this lesson, you will discover what a template page looks like behind the scenes, gain a deeper understanding of the building blocks of a WordPress site, and learn to recognize and read some code. Firstly, let's take an X-ray of your theme and inspect the theme files. Let's navigate to Tools and then click on Theme File Editor. You'll be greeted with a warning message advising you not to make direct edits to your theme. This is only a brief introductory visit so you can safely hit the I understand button. What you have before you is the backbone of your theme, an x-ray that reveals how the templates, template parts, patterns and styles are coded. Let's examine an example. In the right sidebar under theme files click on templates and then page.html. This file is responsible for displaying your site's pages. The first line calls the header template part. The last one calls the footer. In the middle, there's the main part that features a group container holding the page title and content blocks, separated by a couple of spacer blocks. Take your time and read the markup. Identify recurring patterns. Notice how some lines start with a less than sign, an exclamation mark, and two hyphens followed by WP and colon. Another recurring pattern you will see is a less than sign, an exclamation mark, and two hyphens followed by slash WP and colon. And then you can pause this video and explore other files using WordPress Playground or any other test website. Since modifying the theme via the dashboard editor is not recommended, Let's open the page editor and try a safer example. So we can make our way back to the dashboard, go to posts, and open a post. You will notice I've added some extra content. So the next step is to switch to the code editor. So click on the three vertical dots top right, and either click on code editor or use a keyboard combo, command, Option, Shift and M on Mac, or Control, Alt, Shift and M on Windows. I will go ahead and click on Code Editor, and now you will see a combination of three coding languages. The first one is HTML, short for Hypertext Markup Language. The second, CSS, short for Cascading Style Sheets, and the third, JSON short for JavaScript Object Notation. HTML is the fundamental language of the web, used to structure pages. It's made up of elements like open angle bracket, P, closed angle bracket for paragraph, LI for list item, H2 for second level heading, or IMG for image. Back in the code editor, we can see these in action. At the top we have a paragraph, then an H2 heading, followed by a list, and right at the bottom, an image. On the other hand, CSS defines the styling of web pages and the elements contained in them. Let's look at an example. The tag H3 with the color hex code hashtag 8D26D1 represents the purple subheading, Paragraphs with Links. Next, we can talk about JSON. JSON is a data format that uses key value pairs. WordPress both generates and interprets these pairs, ensuring they are rendered into the relevant styles. When we return to the code editor, we can look at the image example, and there are two key value pairs worth mentioning. The first is a line, colon wide, and the second is class name, colon, is style rounded. But what do they mean? Align colon wide means the image alignment is set to wide width. And class name is style rounded 
means the image has rounded corners. Then we can look at another example and scroll up to the first paragraph. And we will see the key value pair drop cap colon true in curly brackets. And this means the initial letter of the word in a paragraph block is bigger, also known as dropped capital. We'll cover this in more detail in the next lesson, how styles are generated. Meanwhile, if you're curious to know more about this, check out the beginner WordPress developer learning pathway, specifically the HTML lesson in the programming languages of WordPress module. Next, it's time to experiment. Now that code no longer feels like a complete foreign language, it's time to practice what you've learned. We are going to create a new post. We will open the code editor. And then paste the code from the transcript. Next, we are going to make a few tweaks. The first thing we'll do is change the color of one of our headings from purple to red by replacing the hex code in both the top and the bottom line. Then we can save our draft, return to the visual editor to see the change that took place. Then I will open up my list view and make my way to outline to see the heading structure and we'll see this heading is H3. Then we can return to the code editor and now I would like to update the heading structure from H3 to H2 and here I will change it in three different spots. And once again I will save and return to the visual editor. And then we can make our way to outline and we'll see our heading level changed from H3 to H2. The last change I want to make is to edit the URL of the external link. So we can return to the code editor and update the URL from wordpress.org to learn.wordpress.org. And then we can return to the visual editor to see how the change took effect. When we click on the linked text and then edit, we will see that the link or the URL updated. To end off, it is worth noting that if something goes wrong, don't worry. Click undo and start over. Changes you make are limited to this specific post and will not affect other posts or theme files. So go wild.